Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I'm gonna talk about Mark Zuckerberg's empire. So Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp, how it's affecting us as a Muslims, as a human being, how it's tearing apart the society and what harms it's causing to to Muslim community, especially how we are being affected by Facebook, Instagram and what's what's it so the latest whistleblower is Frances Haugen she has come out of Facebook she has a interview few news channel like uh, Washington Post 60 minutes and whatnot so <laughs> through the internal it's a, it's a Facebook's internal report right and their own research and whatnot which one shows Facebook optimize its interest over pu public safety and security, civic integrity and whatnot. So, hate, misinformation, political unrest, which one they optimize on their sites. Because when you scroll down on your Facebook feed, right, or any Instagram and whatnot, you have thousands and thousands of contents but facebook will optimize those ones basically which one which one are violent which one has a more misinformation because that's how they're going to keep you engaged in the on their sites right so that's more you are engaged more money they make from advertisement selling your data and whatnot so and also the research shows that facebook action three to five percent of the hate content imagine that only in the that, that's their own research three to five percent hate the action action against and also if you see the violence and incitement it's only the 0 0.6 percent they take action against those kind of content in less than one person now if you see what's happening around the world like one of the in this in this last few years right one of the most violent political crackdown or ethnic cleansing genocide and whatnot took place in Myanmar right about 1 million Muslim Rohingya has been displaced rape murder killing atrocity genocide name anything it fits it's not my word it according to the united nations right all the human rights organization and whatnot but Fa facebook was the active participant of that then you have other part of the world right if you see what's happening in kashmir in india what's happening in 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 um, Assam, one of the states in India, for almost four million Muslims will be kind of stateless and whatnot. A few days back, you have seen one of the photo journalists uh, jumping on, stamping on a on a dead man's like he's been shot dead, and he was basically jumping on his chest. And if you see other other Palestinian issue, right? Palestinian issue, Palestina, Palestinians have been oppressed. So anything got to do with pro-Palestinian posts or accounts, they will suppress, oppress those kind of Palestinian fit. And when it comes to the Israeli misinformation and whatnot occupation, they will promote those kind of things. So it's a more pro-Israeli and anti-Palestinians. Now, how Facebook makes money, right? So a lot of people ask me, oh, I just use only their sites, right? I got nothing to do. No, no, you got everything to do with Facebook. Because if you are not there, Facebook doesn't make money, right? Let me give you an example, like why you are their product. So a lot of people say, oh, Facebook, um, I mean, you know, majority of the people, they don't have the knowledge how it works, right? Facebook, if you go to a physical shop, right? 
you have a bricks and mortar shop like if you go to a fashion store or electronic store they have physical store and they have a product right so if, for facebook their website is the physical store and the products are your information like they sell you data your likes your dislike what are you gonna shop what what kind of news you're gonna consume based on that they do target advertisement they sell your data to the big corporation politicians and whatnot this is how they make billions and billions and billions of dollars so you are their product one of the prime example is Donald Trump when when the US election took place right there were a lot of people were kind of undecisive who they are gonna vote so American Republican Donald Trump has bought all those data so Cambridge Analytica is a one of the British company who get the data from the Facebook Facebook sold it to them and they sold it to the uh, Democrats sorry uh, Republican Donald Trump right and after they're getting those data personal data they started advertising those particular people and this is how they brainwashed so they started voting for Donald Trump and he became elected so this is how it works right and Facebook has a lot of uh, Facebook Instagram and and WhatsApp has a lot of users right Facebook has 2.9 WhatsApp has 1.6 and Instagram has 1.3 billion altogether 5.8 billion people use Mark Zuckerberg's platforms right and and majority of them are youth right now if you see the world youth population Muslims at the moment are about 27 point say 2 percent of the youth world youth are Muslims by 20 next few years 20 30 or 50 it's gonna be over almost 30 percent of the world youth are gonna be Muslims because we have a Muslim Islam has the highest number of uh, youth right now so basically they are making the money from our data and they are using it against us if you don't know now you know that Mark Zuckerberg he's a Jewish person right he's a very pro-Israeli anti-Palestinians and whatnot now what genocide ethnic cleansing oppression atrocity happening against Muslim all over the all around the world are basically you if you use those platform you are a participant I told you why because you you are your data because you are the product you data Mark Zuckerberg use and he makes the money so and also majority of the people nowadays get the news and whatnot from Facebook like 31 percent American uh, get their news from the Facebook Twitter is only about 13% of the of the people Instagram about 11% of the people American people get their news from so basically your data whatever also if you see other way around right so whatever the information you are getting basically what he wants you to see right this is how they program you believe you through the mass media and whatnot right now what what you can do right have you have you done anything have you threatened Facebook Instagram and WhatsApp that I'm gonna boycott your platform if you are not if you keep behaving this way Instagram their latest research shows about 13% of the kids yeah they 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 feel more suicidal if when they keep using Instagram because you have to be perfect you have to have the lightest skin you have to have the perfect body shape which is never exist in the real life right and kids are especially if you see the Western society I live in New Zealand like like 
it's one of the most advanced country in the world first of all they so called the highest number of teen suicide in the world is in new zealand you have to think about it why and who is contributing to it your kid your kid in the future they are going to turn into they might god forbid i hope they are not going to be one of them suicidal uh kids right so what have you done as a muslim have you have you stopped using facebook alhamdulillah i have come out of all the three platform i the, the company i used to work for my boss said oh, you have to use it i was like hang on this is not part of my cuz whatsapp is one of the platform they share the information i said i have my text message i have my um i have my email company's email email me text me call me why i have to use a whatsapp and he was like you know that's better and what not look this is not part of my contract because of my political views and what not i'm not going to use it if you need to contact me if you need to communicate with me if you need to ask me something use the formal channel i do not i don't abide by this kind of rules that i have to use whatsapp that that's not part of my contract i came off all the i'm i'm not you will not find me in whatsapp instagram and and facebook i came off look at the look at the non muslims what they are doing for the muslims right uh what's her name irish writer novelist sally rooney right she said i'll i'll read one of the one of the one of the posts she has uh, put on facebook i i think sorry instagram she she said i simply do not feel it would be right for me under the present circumstances to accept a new contract with a israeli company that does not distance itself from occupation from apartheid and and support the un stipulated right of the palestinian people so the irish non muslim novelist her new book beautiful wall where you are so that's the book she one of the israeli publisher i believe it's called modern she modern they ask them to publish her book in in hebrew so she said no i can't i can't be part of that company or 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 that publisher which one does not distance itself from that brutal occupation taking place against palestinian people but what have you done as a as a muslims i have made one of the video uh you can check in my channel where i men mentioned that uh, uh one of the uh fitness center i go to i i ask them if they go ahead with a puma puma is one of the company who has a um who finance idf israeli defense force so they have a collaboration and jets was promoting puma i said look if you promote puma i'm off i'm going to boycott you i stopped myself one person stopped the whole campaign in the whole country what have you been doing smoking weed prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said one of the hadith i think it's in abu daud um i'll just paraphrase the hadith here so his companion asked what will happen in the last day of the muslim he said muslim will be um will be like a scam then they ask are are you going to be less they said no we are going to be multitude but we will be scam like today muslim we don't care about our fellow muslims the oppression what's going on around the world every muslim country has been bombed name let me give you some of the names as we speak yemen afghanistan palestine gaza somalia mali iraq what have you done nothing right
busy using those technology which one is being used against your own people muslim prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said muslim are supposed to be a one body right why is one body do you feel the pain when the other muslims are being kill, killed when they are being ethnically cleansed from their land what are you going to say right so this is this is the prophecy is being fulfilled here. We we act like we are a scumbag. We don't care. We are busy using we using his platform, not thinking about what it's doing to the Muslim society as a whole. Why is the love? Come on, man. Why is the love? Why is the love for the ummah? How much how much Muslim community is gonna suffer? Are you gonna stop using those platform? For few clicks why not why not do you don't care about your fellow muslim you cannot play the game of oh i'm i was not i was not aware what's happening you are not ignorant anymore that game cannot be played if you watch this this video right why 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 you have to use those platform this is the message to even big big name you know the social so-called social influencer in the in the on the in this world right even why you use those platform when you come out say hey i'm gonna leave and this is the reason imagine if you if facebook lose it's 30 percent of the audience what's gonna happen it's going to be on its knees, begging people, like, come and join. I used to use WhatsApp, right? I came off. I use, I use now BIP, B-I-P. Bravo, Indigo, Papa, B-I-P. So that's a Turkish mess messaging app. I told all my family, friends, if you want to contact me, I'm sorry, you have to contact with this channel no other channel my family my wife's side everywhere i cannot be part of those kind of zionist thugs what they are using against us that part of the product so you you have your intellect use your intellect come off for the sake of the muslims right but make sure why you are coming off raise your voice know your right but this is what I wanted to talk. I'm sorry if I offend anybody, um, but this is the message I wanted to put out, right? We can change. We can change for better men, for the Muslims. We are the, we are the, we have the most, we had the most civilized society, but we are not civilized anymore. We are divided. We can't think about one unity. You know, the Sally Rooney, I was talking about the Irish Irish um, novelist they the Israeli community now they it's like a government funded institution they are telling people go and basically spread hate against uh, Sally Rooney and just just put the misinformation out there the start trolling her and whatnot the government is basically backing those they, the the Jewish community they work as a unit but we are not. We don't care what's happening. Come on, brothers and sisters. Why would you use WhatsApp? Why you use Facebook? For what? For what reason? Wallahi, tell me one of the reasons when they are bringing death, destruction, killing, genocide to the, to the Muslim community. Why you have to use this? Please, use your intellect. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. If if that one makes sense, just make sure why you are leaving this channel. If you want to make another video, make another video. Put it out. If one person watch it, it's worth it. One person, it's worth it. If one person come out of those platform, it's worth it. I'm telling you. Wallah billah, you have to you have to question to Allah what you have done when you have Allah has given you so much intellect. What have you have done for your brothers and sisters? come on man anyway um, hopefully hopefully it brings a positive some sort of 
positivity to Muslim community. Okay, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.